Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Biosphere 2 Facebook Live, um, where science happened. This is Yadi. I'm a PhD student currently working at the Biosphere 2 under LEO facility. Uh, some of know you may wonder what is LEO. LEO stands for Landscape Evolution Observatory, which are three ident identical watershed hill slopes that we can control using the controlled environment to monitor everything that be able to understand how water is falling down from the sky and then transfer into the hill slope and then coming out from the hill slope. And also we are interested in how rock transform to soil these processes. Um, where today I'm talking about is going to be the mini Leo. It's uh, one small scale of the Leo hill slope that is next to me. And as you can see, we have really fancy settings right here that we have lights around the mini hill, little hill, hill slopes. And also you can see these posts that has sprinkler water, um, rain water can drop from there. And then on the hill slope, and this is a 10 degree hill slope that uh, about one cubic meter uh, large. And at the bottom here, uh, where there's a tarp that coming off is the water that uh, rain into the hill slope and going through this soil and then water just seep out from there. And on the surface that we have planted some uh, perennial grass um, in the summertime and now they're seeding and then falling and then we'll regerminating for the next season. So what does Mini Leo do really? It is a test model that for us as researchers to confirm information prior, we implement large scale experiment onto the big Leo slope. Um, as you may wonder that how big, um, how, how well this small model can refer to the big slo slope, what things can happen. So I'll give you a sense is the large hill slope is about 30 meter long by 11 meter width and by one meter depth that during experiment period that if we want to test some experiment, that might take a couple months to finish. Whereas this mini Leo hill slope has the same depth, but it's only one square meter of the surface that allow us to fast forward using only a week or two to be able to test each experiment and be able to figure it out whether this experiment is feasible to apply on the big hill slope or not. So that will save us a lot of time and money that to focus on what individuals that from each um, research group, how we understand the topic more in depth and so that we can apply those knowledge and schemes onto the big hill slope. So, so far we've done, um, this is the second experiment we're doing. The previous experiment we've done is on these, uh, inside is the granular basalt rock, which is a fine particle of the basalt rock. Uh, it's only, the largest size is two millimeter in uh, width. So it's really fine material. So previous exper experiment, what we've done is we didn't introduce any of the biologic condition on the surface. So we've tested how water chemistry is happening in the hill slope while we rain on it. And now when we input this biologic condition, which is the grass right now on the surface you can see, is how with the same rainfall event, the water chemistry change with the biologic input. So that can really help us understand during this soil forming process and how things is tran uh, transferred through the space and time with or without the biologic input. So that um, when we think about real earth condition is how does rock transfer in, transform into soil and how these plants grow can impact or fast forward this soil forming process. How the root zone derive water trans, translocation to be able to create this preferential flow. Those are important knowledge that we can use this mini Leo hill slope to understand. 
For you guys who are just joining us, I'm Yadi. I'm a PhD student at the University of Arizona working at the LEO, the Landscape Evolution Observatory project at Biosphere 2. Uh, what um, today I'm mainly talking about is how these mini LEO hill slope, which is only a small scale of the big LEO, is um, being utilized to understand how water going through these soil um, hill slope that with or without plant species on the surface be able to impact the soil water chemistry change. And that will actually in the end refer to big hill, Leo hill slope when we implement experiments on it. So some more detail about this type of grass. Because we're in a southwest desert, so we'd like to understand what is the impact in the southwest environment that where we have a long period of the drought and we have about only 13 millimeter of the rainfall, rainfall every year. So this particular grass we are choosing is a perennial uh, type of grass native species. It's called a panic grass. And uh, during the summer, hot season, they really don't need much water to be able to grow really tall. And also, it's very low fertile grass, so we don't have to put a lot of fertilizers on it. So that really is the good control for us, so we really don't um, adding extra chemistry onto the soil be able to grow the grass. Being said, all the chemistry happening with the rainfall within the hill slope is only going to be self-sustained, which is, a, we can call that a natural environmental setting. Um, the grass has been grown a couple months since August, um, September, and October. By the end of the October, they started um, seeding, and you can see some of these leaves actually is being yellowing. And on top, there's tassels. So those seed will drop back into the soil. And but the root zone is still there. So it's still going to be impact how the water is flowing uh, during this winter season. But by next spring, these seeds will re-sprout as rainfall, rainfall proceed. So we, we're going to see more grasses growing during the hot, sea, hot weather. And over time, all this complex grass root structure will actually dominate into the surface part of the hill slope. Whenever we have rainfall, you can imagine that without this root structure or with this root structure, that water flow is going to be different. And water transpire up into the grass will be different. And that will change this water cycle. And also, on the other hand, if there is any organic material, it's gonna go, going to change the carbon cycle. And ultimately, all these cycles change will change the chemistry within the hill slope. And what we're imagining is we're w wanting to see some of the chemistry change within the soil water chemistry. So overall, that changes can tell us without plants and with plants how things is differ and then how the soil is formed faster. faster and using that knowledge, and then we can really build a complex experiment on the big hill, Leo Hill slope that is much larger scale, will take longer time, and that is also closer to the natural setting. And we can use that knowledge ultimately to refer to the real earth condition, how the system has been changed over this geological time scale that is much longer than human race. And we hope those knowledge in the end will help us make some really good decision on how we can manage our ecosystem. How can we treat that, the ecosystem, in a way that we can sustain, uh, sus be sustainable in the long run. So thank you. If, if you're in, the fr in front of the camp, uh, Facebook, Thank you for listening, and um, we will have uh, actually science visiting here.
on Saturday that we will post some comments, uh, in the details in the comments. Please check the comments. If you're interested, please come out on Saturday. We're gonna bring you to this science tour. And again, this is Yadi, a PhD student at the University of Arizona. Thank you very much for listening.